You know that feeling when you see someone living your dream life? Yeah. That's exactly how I felt watching Steven, the co-founder of Aptera, casually test driving their latest prototype across state lines. Like, excuse me? I'm sitting here glued to my screen while this guy gets to take the future of electric vehicles on a road trip through America. Life really isn't fair sometimes. And look, I get it. He co-founded the company. He's earned it. But come on. If I helped build one of the most revolutionary vehicles in the world, I'd want to be out there too, soaking in the moment. That car isn't just another EV. It's a piece of history in motion. But seriously, when I saw the footage, I realized something. This isn't just hype anymore. Aptera has officially gone from being an idea to being real, functional, and record-breaking. Now, I know a lot of you watching this have been frustrated by Aptera's delays. You want updates, production, deliveries, all of it. Believe me, I'm right there with you. I want it in my driveway yesterday. But the moment you start seeing numbers, and I mean real-world data, everything just becomes more tangible. You can feel the progress. And the latest data, it's not just good. It's mind-blowing. Let me break this down. Right now, most mainstream EVs, your Teslas, your Rivians, your Lucids, get around 4 to 5 miles per kilowatt hour. That's pretty standard for modern efficiency. Lucid, with its ultra-high voltage system, pushes that to about 5.5 mark kW, which is genuinely impressive considering it's a big luxury sedan. But Aptera? This wild little spaceship on wheels? Their prototype, nicknamed Hermes, just broke through the 8 Macy KD UD barrier. Yes, 8. That's not a typo. 8. And here's the kicker. Hermes isn't even the final design. This isn't the production-ready model. This is the overweight, overbuilt test version made for abuse and iteration. They even admitted it. This car has a steel frame where the final model will use aluminum. It's heavier than it should be. It's not fully aerodynamic yet. It's got rough edges. And still, it's breaking every EV efficiency record imaginable. Aptera revealed in their latest update video that Hermes hit around 122 watt-hours per mile in real-world driving. Let me emphasize that. Real roads, real weather, real results. No wind tunnels, no simulations, no EPA cycle nonsense. This thing was driven across different terrains, temperatures, uphill and downhill, and it maintained insane efficiency the whole time. To put that into perspective, most EVs on the road today hover around 250 to 300 watch hour mile. Aptera is doing less than half that. That's the difference between charging every few days and charging once a week, or maybe never, because, oh yeah, it charges itself. Yup. Let's talk about the solar part, because this is where things go from impressive to sci-fi. Hermes comes with built-in solar panels, integrated into the roof, hood, and hatch. And even in less than ideal winter conditions, it generated about 2.4 kilowatt hours per day. That's with cloudy skies, short daylight hours, and zero effort to position the car toward the sun. Now, when they did angle it right, things got even crazier. The panels peaked at around 540 watts of solar input. That's half a kilowatt of pure sunlight feeding straight into the battery. You can gain 20 to 24 miles of range per day just from letting it sit outside. Let that sink in. While your Tesla is slowly losing charge sitting in the cold, this thing is literally gaining range for free. And this isn't theory. The Aptera team proved it during a real Route 66 road trip. Steven and the crew spent hours on the highway, and the solar array was still pumping energy into the car while it was moving. That means it's not just a park-and-charge gimmick. 
It's continuous, renewable motion. That's one of those moments where you realize, okay, this isn't just another EV. This is a paradigm shift. Now, sure, Aptera's prototype has some extra weight. That's intentional for testing durability. But imagine when the final model rolls out with aluminum chassis parts, lightweight materials, and full aerodynamic optimization. We're talking nine or maybe even 10 miles per kilometer. If that happens, and honestly, all signs say it will, we're looking at the most efficient vehicle ever created, period. Not just in the EV category, ever. And before you say, yeah, but it's small, remember this thing still has more cargo space than a Tesla Model 3. It's not some cramped experimental pod. It's a two-seater with room for luggage, groceries, even a small camping setup. Aptera says Hermes's 42 kilowatt watt battery provides over 360 miles of range. That's more than most Teslas. And it uses half the battery size. For context, even the base Model 3 from 2019 had around 50 to 55 kilowatt. The new ones are even bigger. Yet Hermes goes farther with less. That's not just efficient. That's revolutionary. And I love how the Aptera team addresses skeptics directly. People always say, yeah, but what about cloudy days? What if it rains? And their response is backed by data. You still get solar range, 20 to 24 miles added daily, even in less than perfect weather. That's not speculation. That's math and sunlight working together. And let's be real. No other automaker is doing this. Nobody at Tesla, Lucid, or Rivian has built a car that earns range passively while you live your life. Think about what this means for long-term ownership. Imagine not needing to plug in for weeks or even months, depending on your driving habits. You're not just driving electric, you're driving independent. And that's the word that keeps coming to mind with Aptera, independence. You're independent from charging stations, from rising electricity costs, from range anxiety. You just drive. The sun takes care of the rest. It's such a simple concept, yet it feels like the most advanced thing we've ever seen in mobility. Now, to make things even more interesting, Hermes didn't just beat every efficiency record, it also beat the legendary Volkswagen XL1. Remember that car? The billion-dollar experiment that could hit 261 miles per gallon equivalent? Yeah, Hermes just surpassed it. And Aptera did it on a fraction of that budget, using modern materials and, this part always blows my mind, actual production-capable technology. This isn't some fragile prototype built for one press event. This thing is built to evolve into the final product. I think that's why Aptera's community is so passionate. They're not just fans, they're believers. Everyone who follows this project sees that the math makes sense, the data holds up, and the design isn't just futuristic, it's functional. And the inside, it's everything you'd want from a next-gen EV. Apple CarPlay, Max fast charging, and blind spot cameras that stay on screen all the time. Not just when you signal. Seriously, as a Tesla owner, that one hits home. I hate how Tesla's cameras disappear when you actually need them. Aptera's layout just makes sense. Plus, no side mirrors, which, apart from looking cool, also reduce aerodynamic drag. Every detail feels intentional. Every gram, every surface, it's all built for efficiency. And, yeah, maybe I'm biased, but this car checks every single box for what the EV future should be. Affordable? Check. Efficient? Double check. Self-charging? Triple check. So when people ask, why are you so obsessed with Aptera? This is why. Because it's not about making another car. It's about rethinking how cars work all together. Tesla's chasing autonomy. Lucid's chasing luxury. Rivian's chasing adventure. But Aptera, they're chasing physics itself. And they're winning. Honestly, 
If Aptera opened pre-orders for Hermes right now, I'd be typing my credit card number faster than you can say solar efficiency. Give me the heavy prototype. I don't even care if it's overweight. I'll take it. Because even in this early form, it's already outperforming $70,000 luxury EVs. And when the final production version hits, it's going to embarrass everything else on the road. I mean, think about it. A car that can outlast a Tesla on range, outcharge Lucid in efficiency, and doesn't even need a plug half the time? That's not a car. That's a lifestyle upgrade. And it's not science fiction anymore. It's here. It's real. The only thing standing in the way now is funding and scaling. Aptera has a plan, they've shared it publicly, and if they pull it off, we could be witnessing the beginning of a transportation revolution. A revolution where your daily commute no longer depends on a gas pump or a charging port. Where vehicles generate their own clean energy. Where range anxiety becomes a story we tell our kids. That's what Aptera is building. And after seeing Hermes perform like this, eight miles per kilowatt hour, real world numbers, solar range gains, I'm convinced they're going to make it happen. So yeah, call me jealous of Steven. Call me obsessed. Call me impatient. You'd be right on all counts. Because if there's one EV that deserves hype, this is it. Aptera, take my money. And for everyone watching, this is one of those rare times when we're witnessing the future in real time. The solar EV revolution has begun.